Thanks, you. Thanks, you. Uh, good afternoon, or oh, no, good evening, members of the media. Um, no, I think uh, let me start by congratulating the club, uh, everyone involved, because I think today was a very good uh, team effort. Um, the first half that we were all not happy with. In fact, it wasn't so bad, uh, but um, and this is why I have to thank the players, particularly today, because uh, before we could even speak already, the players were unhappy with each other. And that already made uh, the job a little bit easier. So uh, after a good start, uh, with a good set piece and something that we had prepared, which was very good. And then uh, oh, a little bit inconsistent with uh, the performance and maybe even giving the ball away too cheaply and presenting chances for cheaper. But our biggest issue was uh, our build-up structure, so we had to change that a little bit and that stabilized the team and the group. And um, so I've got to thank the players, uh, thank them for, for being there for the team and also for being there for me because uh, I think first half they played the played like how I felt this entire week. So uh, they were there, and 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 that's 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 good. And and I appreciate and and want to thank them for that, and also thank the coaches, Coach Magnova, Coach Wendell, uh, Coach Kennedy on the bench because they also supported big time on on some of the ideas I had and. We, we put our heads together and we made very good subs. So, and the subs were very, very good. So uh, they influenced the game and uh, Gaston was good, very, very good. Sipo was very, very good. Shishi was very, very good. Uh, Tesh came on, scored a good goal, Was he was very good. Uh, and Grant helped us to stabilize things when we had problems with balls, but, but okay, good. Uh, uh, three points, uh, two goals, a clean sheet and a, uh, and a decent second half performance. Congratulations to everybody at the club and uh, super. Please identify yourself and hear you represent. Go ahead, Messina. Coach, first and foremost, let me let me um, let me apologize. <laughs> let me apologize for reposting what was posted. I think I really do have to apologize. Um, no, but it's all right. Yeah, uh, my most apologies in relation to that. I think you know how I feel about you. And yeah, uh, coach, for you, uh, we only had 24 minutes to watch the game because we came up late. Uh, when you see Sunrise plays like this, particularly the last 20 to 25 minutes in relation to controlling the ball, what what is important? Is it results? Is it is it is it the game? What exactly takes precedence in regards to what you want to achieve towards the end of the season? Yeah, yeah. Look, it's everything. We want to play well. We want to win, and uh, that's that's sundown. Sometimes um, we uh, we played some top football last season. Um, uh, uh, unbelievable. And I think also I think we played better than we played last season. And this is just my opinion. But last season there was still a sour feeling because we didn't win. And uh, and when I was walking around in the streets, everyone was saying to me, no, but even here in the press conferences, you guys were asking me, are you going to change the style of play and, and chase results? And I said to you, there's no chance of that happening. We will still play. And, and I, think we, I think we are really, really honestly, I think we are playing some very, very good football. And sometimes I don't even trust my feelings about uh, this team. And... Fortunately, I have friends in uh, some 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 clubs that work, especially in Europe, and I and I ask them all the time, please check the team, check the performance, give me uh, reports, and 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 the feeling amongst a lot of the coaches and technical people who work at some some top 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 clubs. I've got a friend that works at Liverpool. And he he thinks our uh, the only team that plays the type of football. Of course, he, he supports Liverpool, so he will tell me that we we don't play as good as Liverpool. And then there's Manchester City and Brighton, and he says to me, we, we could easily be an English Premier League team, you know. 
but I don't trust that. Well, sometimes also I think he's also a bit biased because he's a friend of mine. But I, I, I have to have these people to check the team and to check so that I don't fall into the space of where I love the team so much that I, 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 I get the wrong impression about the performance of the team. But that's what we have to do. We have to play well and we have to win, you know, because if we play well and we don't win, it's last season's story. And if we win and we don't play well, it's oh, but it's not good enough. So we keep trying to improve, and and it's not always going to be good. But but we are we are trying our level best, and 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 the players are giving everything they have. So so that's that's the most important thing. And uh, if we stick to that process, we will get there. It's a long season, still a long way to go. So but we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we we tried to say to ourselves, we want to develop the personality of the team, and I think the team has a very very strong personality at the moment. Um, so I'm happy with uh, how we play. I know, I know for certain in Brazil. I was in Brazil. I, I said to you guys, I know for certain that in Brazil, the people are asking me, how do you get the team to play like this? You know. So, and it's appreciated by a lot of people. So we have to keep uh, trying to improve the product and try to play better. Of course. But uh, so far, so good. If you won so many games and you're unbeaten in so many games, uh, uh, there must be something good that you're doing. So we keep going. Yes, coach. Um, good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm not a prophet, <laughs> but today I'm going to prophesize. I think the time we play to this card, I'm going to give you a card of one. It's really exciting. Oh. Um, when do we play test games? <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to that yeah. one. And then, um, but honestly, last night, coach, maybe two questions for me. Mm. The update on the injury of Alberto, and then also Mayema, last season he was playing well. What has he happened? He has disappeared, he has not been looking into the team, or probably just to your team. Yeah. Um... Lucas, I, I left just before half time, well, just before uh, full time, and I was just rushing to, to congratulate him because he wasn't on the bench, and of course, you know the feeling, he was crying, so I had to go and, 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 and reassure him that uh, the team had won, and, and, and of course, he made a huge contribution to the result, so I wanted to thank him and congratulate him on the performance. Um, I, the doctors haven't really, really seen it. Uh, hopefully, it's not as bad as we think, uh, because we need him. But uh, once again, I think God also has some very good timing because now we go for a fifth break, so it gives him a bit of time to get attention, you know. So good. Um, we'll get a proper prognosis uh, once once he's been seen by the doctors. Uh, Neo, well, Neo has got he's got uh, a bit of struggles. Uh, you've seen even with the performance, is not so good, but he will he will come all right. Uh, he's, he's, again, also he has to wait for his turn. He's a very good player now, and we need him. Um, but he'll be he'll he'll work and he'll get ready and he'll 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 work his way back into the team. I'm one hundred percent sure about that. Uh, but of course, he has to fight now because. Um, you see, even Tashrik Gaston, Gaston is is a sipo today, so he has to he has to fight for his place like all the others, you know. So uh, Lebo has been playing well, <laughs> and it's a bit unfair to put Lebo on the bench after such good performances. But uh, we have to try to rotate the team. Mukulis also is hasn't he wasn't in the team today. So it's what happens at a big club like that. So he has to fight uh, like everybody else. And uh, but my, my message to him and to all the players that are not even the team is that we need them. Uh, it's going to be a difficult season, and everybody has to make some form of contribution towards the end. Uh, coach, uh, well, that be me. Thank you. Um, two questions are from my side. Uh, we had coach like September here who came and said that you scoring early messes their plans up because of that they can't play that the way that they want to play. Um, would you say that scoring really helps you to perhaps stabilize your team and to be able to like, try things? And also, Ben, like mentioned that uh, because of 
um, the way that things were, he had to change his like, tactics many times. Yeah. And he found his team in a point where now they are chasing the game and also trying like different things. How many times do you have to change your like, tactics in a game while it's playing so that at least that you can like, counter what's going on on the field? We, I say chameleon because of that. It, and it is that we have to adapt to not just the scoreline but also to the players we have on the pitch uh, and and the oppo- opposition and, and, and what the opposition do. Sometimes the opponent tries to go one-on-one like they did, especially after we scored and they went a little bit more aggressive with the high press. You saw when they brought Lutuli on and he came closer to Evanga, but then at halftime they, they bring on another striker so and Lutuli and, and Kamo and then the midfield is a little bit more open. And then you've got to find possibilities and which players can find the, the spaces. So Gaston is 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 got a smell for the space. Mishish has got a smell for the space. And then the game requires a little bit of a different structure, but it depends. It, it really does depend, but it depends on a lot of things, not just the score, not the opposition, but also the way, what do we want to provoke and... Uh, but we have to. We have certain principles that we have got to always stay close to because that's how we train. And um, no, but super team, super super performance, and very proud of the group. Okay, so I can just ask my second question. Yeah, uh, you gave a lot to ask about like today. Is it uh, like something that he's earned? Is it something that you're planning to like keep him on the field to like spot like more games? What's their planning and their thinking around it? No, he's ready now. He's ready. I see him in the change room. Uh, it's a lot of things. It's, it's not just um, he comes. He comes from 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 a team where it's, it's, they, uh, he's established a hierarchy because of the number of years. So he, in the change room, he's got a position in the in the in the in the in the dynamics within the group. So he comes into the Sundowns change room. He's got history and the profile. But he's got to establish himself in the in the hierarchy, in the in the structure, in the dynamics within the group, and of course, lodge with his personality. I I, I know because I worked with him, and I know when he's settled and when he's not. So when he arrives, I could see. I look at the body language. I look, and now I can see a little bit more upbeat, a little bit more enthusiastic. He's got a spring on his step. And that's what I was waiting for. And you can't rush that. That is the mother nature uh, takes takes that. And and it's the same with Tashrik. It's the same with Esquival. It's it's small things, and you see how he interacts with the, even the ones uh, on top of the food chain. And in every team, you've got that. And now you see they they he gets that they are trust. They, they they accept him into the group. He's smiling. They, he connects the passes uh, in the rondos, which he's, he's, he's in the group. He's, he's trusted. He's given the ball even in tight spaces. And that, that, that uh, is because he has earned their trust. And, and, and Tesh has done the same already now. That's, that facilitates. Zuko has done the same. And you hear it. You see it. And, and, and you see even when they hand out bibs to, to each other, you, you, small things that you look for within the group dynamics. So uh, it's not about being a good player. They wouldn't be here if they were good players, but they feel they were not good players. But it's the smaller things, and, and those are the things I always look out for. And sometimes those assist the the, the transition of, of the individuals. And for Lodge, uh, I think now he's, uh, he's, 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 he's in the core group, and, 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 and that's what we brought him here for. As we come closer to maybe Kens uh, and then the last question of the uh, okay, Kens, Pasha, then Pasha. <laughs> good. Sure, Kens. Um, you, you speak about the personality of the team. Um, this team almost looks like every game is just seems like a heavy way out. It's like you, you tire the opponent to a point where they, they have nothing else to give. And, uh, it seems as if in most of the games, it seems as if. You look for that killer punch like, towards the end of the towards the end of the game, and you can understand there's no longer that anxiety that used to be there like last season. Um, do you prefer it this way, or do you prefer to like bite quick and then? No, but I I, I want the reptile, the chameleon, you know, uh, adapt, move, and at the right time flex the the tongue, 
and that's what I, I, I spoke about at the beginning. It's not because now you see, it's, 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 it's what we are trying to do. We are poisonous, but 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 we know when to attack. And, and today I asked for a thousand passes. Yeah, today I asked for a thousand passes. I'm told we got close. We have 600 and something, so I'm not happy. Uh, and there's a reason why I asked for a thousand passes because teams like Chipa, especially because they played a midweek game and then they travel and then they come from a higher altitude and they are very, very dangerous on long throw wins with gummies, set pieces when, when Justice and Tabo Mukele go in and Evan Carr, they are very dangerous in standard situations. And the only way to, 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 to minimize that threat is more passes, you know, keep keep more, a lot of the ball closer together, which I think we did very well in the second half. So, 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 um, we can get better, but it's, it's, this is how we, and, and, and football is just, but watch, watch now, you know, the teams don't exhaust all, it's, it's too many games. If you play 70 games and you're going to be gung ho and punching left, right and center, by the end, you, you, you run out of, you run out of energy at the end of the season. So we know when we, we, we have to use the right amount of energy in certain moments and certain situations have to, we have to even try to manufacture these situations where we exhaust a lot of energy. But uh, they, they, uh, they are very, very clever, very clever, good football players. And, and they also take on information quick. But it also helps that we've, we've been together now for... For this is my fourth season, so, and a lot of them we've been together now for for four years. So they have a little bit more of an understanding of what we are trying to create. Um, and um, yeah, we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. Shall I end up Coach, one of the lessons that I've learned in football is, is well, through reading, of course, sure. uh, they, they happy dressing rooms and performing dressing rooms. Yeah. Uh, but in, in your dressing room, you've got a lot of personalities and characters as well, uh, which tells you that these are big players because there's a big club. Yeah. But for you, uh, how do you keep these players happy? Because I think you've got 36, 37 players. Yeah. Uh, how, what's, what's your challenge? How do you make these guys to be so happy for them to be able to, perform, including those who are not playing? It's tough, but we have to win. And we try to rotate, but it's not easy to rotate also because it's, it's meritocracy. Uh, but we just have to win. Winning overrides all the things. And, and people have to understand we're moving in one direction. And that's, we have principles, we have a way of working, and the, the, the club also has a certain structure and a culture. And that's the only thing. But, but over and above that, I must say to you that uh, my job is quite easy because there's good human beings in the change room. They look after the team, they look after each other, and they push each other. Like I said to you at halftime, I, I was upset. But when they walked in, they, I think I got the feeling that they were more upset than I was upset. And then, of course, then when the team is more upset, you as the coach have to come with more solutions than to berate the team. And uh, they're a joy to work with, an absolute privilege. I don't know, with the Tony Derby on Tuesday, probably one or two questions that you need to push. I think because we have a player, but we can still ask about the habit. Could you say to this Tony Derby the before as a best coach, and now going to the Derby on Tuesday, I'm sure you also watched the Derby today. Yeah, I did. No, I'm a football person, so I watch. Yeah. And then, Coach, you have said on the other side, do you think it's the same thing with the Trinidad? How do you compare the two? <laughs> Good question. Uh, you, it's very it's difficult to compare because uh, uh, the Soweto Derby has history, and we all know that. But uh, uh, that's that's what maybe the Tony David does not have that much is 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 the history. But I think I think in terms of the emotions and uh, the rivalry for sure, there is, it is there and it, it's a rivalry and it's a it's a that's why it's called the Derby, you know. Uh, and over the years, um, both teams have been extremely successful, especially in the in the previous recent history. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of titles that are shared between uh, Supersport and Mamalodi Sundowns, both 
in the league and in, in terms of cups. So the prestige is there, the emotional connotation is there. So it's difficult to compare because the one has where you would say you have the emotions on on a historical background and the other one has the emotions from a from a, the recent success of, of both teams. Um, but I would say that it's you can't because then you you go into a space where you compare the Milan derby, for an example, to uh, a game between Roma and Lazio, for an example. You know, so it's, it's completely different. But of course, the the derby is a derby, and you everybody wants to dominate and have the bragging rights of the city. So um, it is it is a, it is a difficult it is a difficult question to answer. Thank you. Thank you, Jens. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.